Hello everyone, welcome again and in this demo I'm going to show you a demo of courier management system and it's another application, another web application that is in uh, JSP and Servlet. So it's a Java application, it's using JSP and Servlet to manage the backend. Okay, controllers, under the controllers there are servlets and under the resources we have JSP files, okay, here and this is a front end and this is a back end. Okay, to deploy the application, we are using Tomcat server. We'll run the application in a while. And to store the information in the backend, we are using MySQL Workbench. So here is the database. Uh, this is the database, and this database contains uh, like a branch, cost, and courier, and staff branch, and users table. Under the user table, if you want to view the data of the user table, just right click on it, it's like the first option, you will get the data here. There are three types of role, the staff member, and users, and the admin. Okay, we'll log in one by one and see the operations, how it's working. Also, if you have already taken this application, now you need to follow this demo in order to execute the application. If you are not taken the application till now, you can contact us over the WhatsApp, email, or Skype, and we'll do the complete remote uh, configuration at your machine after configuration will leave the machine in this state and after that you need to follow uh, this demo so in order to run the application just right click on the root folder of the application go to run next turn on server select the server click on next click on finish automatically the application will launch over your chrome browser and the interface will look like this and here we have two options first is registration you can register it here and when you register, you will be registered as a user. So let's give up dummy data here. I'm going to register with this record. Just enter the first name, last name, email address, password, mobile number, any 10 digit number, gender, and date of birth. So always enter date of birth in this format. So I just enter the format and user registered successfully it means the customer is registered to the application you will see the new record into the database as well now for the login we have three types of login users three types of, three types of users are there for login so one by one we'll log in we'll see the uh, user roles in the application so first i'm going to log in as an admin so here's the credential for the admin login and this is the password so i just hit the login Okay, for after login as an admin, uh, what I can do, I can add a new branch. I can see the list of branch. Let's suppose I'm going to add the new branch. So I just fill up the SMW data uh, as a street landmark, city number, and branch code. So I just enter dummy code and the contact number. I just add the contact number. Click on the save. The data is already successful. Now, if I check the branch list, the data will be displayed here. Here, by viewing the branch, you can edit the record if required. Let's suppose I want to update uh, the code. Uh, I will separate the code, save it. Now, if I check the list, the code is updated. If I want to delete any branch, I can just select this option and click on the delete option. The record will be deleted. Okay, the next portion or next model is a staff. So I can add a new staff. So let's suppose I'm going to uh, add a new staff member over there. So staff. Okay, so email address we need to enter here. So I'm going to just add an email. And just keep a password over there. So I just entered in my 10 is phone number. DOB address the select the branch. So uh we are when we are adding the staff, we have to select the branch from which branch uh this staff is related. So currently we have three branches into the database. So I just add one of them and saved it and if i see the list of uh, staff it will, it will display here from here you can edit the staff you from here you can delete the staff here we can add the cost so generally currently the cost is added like this if i update the cost uh, like a cost for weight for the less than 100 kg i suppose i'm going to enter the 20 rupees and is it greater than 50 rupees and i save the record if I check the list, you can see the different prices are there. Okay, 
here if I view the courier so these are the courier requested by any user and here I can filter out the data according to the status the status is edit courier uh, ready to pick item etc etc multiple messages are there also we have option here to select uh, view by the tracking ID okay. other options for the admin my profile change password and logout so I just hit the logout now I am going to just log in as a staff member that I have just added so what a staff member can do over there and what customer can do the next thing so uh, here we have a staff member as a user ID is a two sorry two will be user and three will be staff so i'm going to log in as a three now and then we'll move to the user model so i just entered credential for the use staff and what staff can do staff can view the careers but currently there is no request so i just going to log out it from the staff i'm going to log in as a user so this is the user that we have recently added so let's log in by the user and I just log in as a user. As a user, what I can do, I can view the prices. So two prices are there. I can add a new courier. So let's suppose I'm going to add a courier to send a name. So I just enter the name and send an address and just enter the name, send a number. Enter uh send the details like Here uh, we need to enter the receive, receiver's name, receiver's address, receiver's contact number. It's like branch. So let's suppose I'm going to give it uh, from the same branch and wait. Let's suppose I'm going to just like this. This should be 150 kg. Click on the save. Uh, it should be a valid number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to give it another 8. And I need to select the branch again and everything is fine. I just click on the save. Okay, here I need to do the comment. So I just go here and comment. So comment is automatically calculated according to the price over there. And uh, mm gd by by I just need to do expiry prices. So it's a 20 and uh, here I'm going to do 25 speed and comment done successfully if it's not this is your tracking id so my tracking id is this for this user and if i go to the career uh courier section i can see this uh, id and when i view this uh this is shows as a status as a edit courier now if admin will log in let's let's let's, let's log in as an admin again or uh, as a staff member so we can update the status over there so just log in as a staff member from the same branch so this is the staff member so i just hit the username and the password view here okay this doesn't have that uh, like uh, like, uh, like uh, this doesn't have that user so i'm going to log in as an admin now on my private window and i'm going to enter the password when i view the courier i can check that view that, that, that courier that is requested by this user by this user so current status is edit courier and when i view and i can edit it and i can update the courier as a deliver or in, 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 in some the status and i can assign a staff member so i just assign this new staff and save it so this is uh, it's updated and done so i just go here and check the status at my customer side so it said it's delivered okay and it's assign a staff email contact is also displaying here now now we can log in at that from that staff and the staff will be display some data to the staff member so if i view the career now this will this this courier will display to the staff member as well okay uh, so this is all about the courier management in jaspian server in java uh, it's another good project, good web project for the college student, final student who is preparing for the interviews. So if you need the source code, please connect us over the WhatsApp or mail or Skype and don't worry about the configuration setup. We have a remote team that's going to connect with you via Discord soon and they will take responsibility to run the code at your machine and it will work uh, same as source in this demo.